As much as we like to believe otherwise, computers need to be maintained. Just like people need food, cars need fuel, flowers need water, computers need maintenance. The Windows operating system has two built-in utilities that are there to be used on a regular basis in order to keep your computer operating smoothly. If you don't use these utilities, there's a good chance your computer is beginning to act sluggish. Although there are some software programs that claim to do this automatically, they don't often work properly, and why put an additional program into your hard drive when these utilities are already built into your operating system? One is called Disk Cleanup, and the other is Disk Defragmentation, or Disk Defrag, as we say for short. In my opinion, Disk Cleanup is the first utility to use before using disk defragmentation. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use disk cleanup. However, before we even start to do use the disk cleanup, I highly recommend that you empty your recycle bin. So let's do that first. The recycle bin icon is usually on your desktop. Go to it, highlight it, and then double click it to open it. Once the recycle bin is opened, if it's empty, great, that means you've been emptying your recycle bin on a regular basis. If not, you might have some files and folders in here that you didn't mean to delete. So go through the list, make sure that you really meant to delete everything on it in this folder, and then go to the empty the recycle bin and click on it once to actually empty it. Once you click on empty the recycle bin, a menu box opens to confirm that you want to permanently delete the files and folders you have in your recycle bin. Click yes. You might hear a swoosh, you may not, but now the recycle bin as you see here is emptied. So I'm going to close the recycle bin and start showing you how to use this cleanup. The first thing you need to do is to get this cleanup from the start button. Click on the Start button once. Left-click on All Programs. Once you left-click on All Programs, go to a folder called Accessories. Left-click on that. Then left-click on a folder that says System Tools. Once that's opened, you'll see Disk Cleanup. Now, there's, that's quite a mouthful and a lot of steps. So I'm going to show you how to put this on your start menu so you don't have to go through these steps the next time because this really should be done frequently. If you right click on this cleanup from this menu here, another menu will open up that gives you the option to pin to start menu or pin to taskbar. I prefer start menu but that's your choice. I'm going to click on pin to start menu. Now I'm going to click in an empty space on my desktop and show you what we've just done. Going to the start menu again and here we have it. On the upper part of the bar as soon as you open your start menu you'll see this cleanup is now right there. You don't have to go through all those steps to find it again. So let's click on it to show you what this means. It's going now. The utility disk cleanup is looking for all the temporary files that you absolutely do not need to keep on your computer and in your hard drive, wasting space and sometimes corrupting files. It looks for it. It may take much longer than it has here because I've done this more frequently than perhaps you have. So once this box is open, your disk cleanup box You'll see a number of listings here. I'm going to use the scroll bar to show you more. There's a list of different temporary folders, etc., that you need to clean out of your hard drive. You notice here I have a numbers on the right and the listing is on the left of this box. In my case, it, I'll only be saving 8.62 megabytes. However, on yours, you might see huge numbers here, but we're going to fix that right now. Make sure that all 
that there's a check mark on every box, whether it's emptied or not. As you see, the recycle bin is empty because we just did it. But I'm going to show you that even if you click in this box and keep a check mark there, there's no harm in doing that. I'm scrolling through now to make sure that every there's a check mark in every box. There are some folders here that will always have some kind of kilobytes in it. Not to worry, that's okay. I suggest you still keep a check mark in every box. At this point, all we need to do is just click OK. It's going to open up another menu asking if we want to permanently delete uh, these files and just like in the recycle bin we're going to ask it to delete these permanently. This cleanup is now going through looking for all these files and cleaning them out. This process could take quite a few minutes. It didn't here because I just did it recently. However, once you've done that, you're finished. And ta-da, it's done. You've just finished using disk cleanup to make your operating system work more smoothly. I hope you found this tutorial helpful in making your computer operate more smoothly. If it did, I'd really appreciate you dropping me a line, send me a response or a comment, or even ask me a question, and I will help you if I can. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and stay tuned for the next one, which will be on disk defragmentation. So bye for now, and have a wonderful day.